let's start with fresh news. You've been selected uh, at the EuroLeague's uh, first team. Uh, there's, uh, was, there was a lot of discussion about the five choices. Uh, how do you feel about this honor? And um, how do you feel, uh, what do you think about the selection of Mike James as MVP of the EuroLeague? Um, I'm honored. I'm honored uh, to be selected at our EuroLeague first team. Um, just a testament to um, the hard work I've put in all season, um, the success we've had throughout the season with my teammates. And I'm happy uh, Lasort got that um, first team as well. Cause he's a huge um, part of our team and he deserves it. About Mike James uh, being an MVP, do you agree? Um, do you expect to be you or Matias? I mean, he's deserving of it for sure. Um, hell of a player. He's had a hell of a season um, and he deserves it. Um, I'm happy for him. I reached out to him and told him I'm happy for him. Congrats. Uh, do you have an extra motive to take the next MVP in the Final Four? Yeah, they get, um, of course, of course. Uh, they, do, I'm not sure, they do um, MVP for the Final Four as well? Okay. Yes, of course. Okay. So there's room for another war for sure. In the playoffs, you were in a beast mode, like you say. What to expect uh, to the Final Four from you with Final Four Nikos? Um, expect to be on top of my game. Bring my A game, you know what I'm saying? This is um, championship basketball that we're fighting for. So um, I'm sure I'll be prepared, I'll be ready for it, and um, hopefully reach new heights. You know, you now know European basketball better. You know the teams that are in the Final Four. You saw the hunger of Panathinaikos fans uh, for the seventh European title. Do, do you think you can get them out on the streets uh, to celebrate? <laughs> I'm sure they will be. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. I'm sure they'll be um, there ready, supporting with passion, and um, it's going to be exciting. I'm happy to have them um, on our backs. Uh, James Gist, a former and beloved here American player of Panathinaikos, when you transferred uh, to the team, said that you could be LeBron James of Europe, the king of EuroLeague. Do you feel like a king, both at the competitive <laughs> level and from the way the fans uh, treat you? Um, they do give you that feeling, honestly. Um, I'm honored to, to just be in that position and playing um, for power, Powerhouse Club like uh, Panthinacos here in Greece. So, I mean, it's an honor. Um, they do love you t to the fullest. I mean, they make, sure, they make you feel very good and confident, but um, ultimately it's about um, what you do on the floor. So if you do good, of course the fans will love you. I mean, if you... Um, not so good. Maybe it'd be the other way around, but definitely um, happy happy to have them alongside of us. Recently, you signed a new contract uh, with Panathinaikos. Uh, what were the reasons that led you to this decision? Um, it was a long, long, tough decision. Um, but honestly, I'm happy I did it. I've done it. and. Um, I just wanted the opportunity to play. That was most uh, important for me, just to play on a high level this year. Um, obviously coming off injuries uh, the prior year I, before I came here. So I just wanted to be able to play and uh, show I can play at a high level <clears throat> and help team win games and uh, hopefully a championship. Uh, Dominic Wilkins uh, with, uh, played with Panathinaikos back in 1996 uh, and won the first EuroLeague title uh, for Panathinaikos owner of the team, Dimitris Yankopoulos, uh, said that you and he are the best American players ever played in Europe. How do you feel about this comparison? Again, I'm honored uh, to be putting up in the same sentence as Dominique Wilkins. Um, legend, legend of the game. Um, I mean, it just shows the testament to um, how much I care about the game, the, the time I spend on um, perfecting my craft, and I'm um, just performing. Just performing each um, each game and um, doing it at a high level. Okay, uh, okay. Let me ask you now: uh, Who is your favorite uh, favorite teammate to play with, and who is your favorite off the field, off the court? Uh, my favorite teammate on this team. Yeah, yeah. Um, to play with first. Of course, uh, my go-to guy, uh, Lasort. Love playing with him. 
he pretty much gets me open on, on all my points. So it may not be assist, but he's screening my man and getting me open. So uh, I love playing with him. Um, yeah. And off the, the gym? Night? Off oh. the gym? Off the gym? Yeah. Uh, off the court. Off the court. Um, my favorite teammate? Yeah. Oh, um. You hang out know. more. Lesor again. Maybe. Maybe Lesor. But um we're we're always together, not just us two, a handful of guys. You know what I'm saying? So we built a, um really a team bonding experience um with this team. So every time one or two of us together, you know what I'm saying, we invite more. So it's a group thing. Okay. What has impressed you the most about life in Greece and uh, about the Greek people so far? Um, just the passion, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew it coming in and I've uh, seen experiences, but it's different when you actually experiencing it and being here and living every day. So that's what's most uh, surprising to me, just the everyday passion that these fans in this country has for basketball. Has, uh, do you have a favorite Greek food already? My favorite Greek food? Um, I eat a lot of Greek food. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> do you eat Do you eat Sulagi? I do. I've had it. It's good. Okay. I had one, I think, after the game uh, yesterday, coming from um, Thessaloniki. 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 <laughs> yeah, I had one at the airport. <laughs> okay. And is there any Greek word uh, that you use the most? Do you have learned anything? Um, we have learned, but uh, probably Kalimera. I use every day. Good morning. 